What's happening, guys? It's B-Rad, and welcome to another solo checklist draft. And today's episode is going to be based around the player of the month, Messi. And it is an end of an era for Frank Ribéry as he retires, basically because his body just can't do it anymore. So we are doing our checklist around them today. And I am going to put it all on the line in the draft. If I get Messi, so that's any version of Messi, in the draft or Ribery, I have to take it and they will be included in the discards at the end. Okay, so there could be a potentially huge discard on the line here, okay? Um, now, this is a solo episode, so the way this works is Twitter gets to decide my discards at the very end of the draft. So if you aren't following me over on Twitter, make sure to follow the link below in the description and get over there and follow me. I tweet out about the episode being recorded and then maybe like an hour or so afterwards is when I then put the discards out. So keep an eye on that, turn the notifications on, all that good stuff. And subscribe to the channel as well, if you wouldn't mind. We are trying our best to get to 150 subs. And um, yeah, it would be nice if you could help me get there. What we're going to do for today's pack objectives is we are going to get... I'm going to back myself again. We didn't get one in the last episode. I am going to go and get us a rule breaker in today's thing so if we get a wall breaker that is one save i'm gonna get a pack where i have a french and argentinian in the same pack i want three former clubs from messi and from ribri so for messi i'll just be barcelona and i think from uh frank ribri is like fiorentina marseille galatasaray Bayern munich i think are the main ones there uh one potential end of an era player so we're talking somebody who would get maybe a future icon or a future end of era card much like these two and we're also going to spell their name so i need to get a player with every letter of the name at the start of the name so say for instance messi if i got masrawi that would be the m done i then need to get e s s and i and the same for ribery as well to get that objective ticked off so that one will be a bit more tricky we'll keep you updated on that one as we go along today we're going to be opening um the packs that I got from the previous draft rewards, which are just a jumbo premium gold pack and a premium gold pack. And then we're going to open some of the packs in the stores. So that is we're going to head off to now. So let's go and open some packs and try and get this checklist done. Right, okay, so we are in the stores and you will see the objectives up in the corner there. So every one of those objectives that I tick off will be a save in the draft. If I don't complete any, they're not discards. That only happens when we get into the draft and the game. This is just purely to try and save some players, okay? So let's go on with the first one. We're going to open a premium goal pack to start off, and then we'll get on with the promo packs. We're looking for a rule breaker, but we haven't even got a rare card in this one. I don't think Nubal is going to be a potential end of an era, and there's no N in Ribery or Messi. Kera also won't be, and neither will Oliveira. No former clubs there either. And we don't have any French or Argentinian. So that one is a pretty terrible pack in terms of what we need. Not good. Not an ideal start. Second pack, we've got a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So we'll open that one. We've got a board. It's Belgian. Centre mid. It is Tielemans. Okay. No T in Ribery or Messi either. Right, okay, we've got PSG, which is not a former club for Messi. We have got a Fiorentina, though. So, that is one of the former clubs there. We need two more. Uh, we've got M for Messi and Mangrat or Mandragora, but that's the M done for Messi. We don't have any others. And there, let's check the duplicates. Forsberg. And we've got Rodriguez. So Rodriguez for Ribery. And we've got an S for Messi for this guy as well. No other previous clubs. We've got Fenerbahce, but not Galatasaray. And no potential players that I think there would get an end of an era at all. And there weren't no French or Argentinian in the same pack. And there weren't no rule breakers. So let's get on. We're going to open up the prime gold players pack see if we can get ourselves a rule breaker historically these have never been good for me but we do get a board spanish goalkeeper that is unai simon we 
Right, okay, so let's have a look. We've got an Argentinian, but no French player. No French player in the same pack. Unbelievable. That is crazy. We've got no other former clubs. Got no Barca player, no Marseille or Bayern Munich or anything like that. Okay, so what have we got in terms of the letters of the name? We have got something good. We've got a B for Rebury, so that's got that bit done. We haven't got any Ys, which I think is going to be one of the toughest ones to get. We've got no E, no other S, and no I either. This is a pretty bad pack. Right, in terms of end of an era, any player we think there? I mean, surely Pepe is going to get an end of an era, I would think. Got to from his career. I will take that. If I get one that convinces me even more, then that's fine. But we'll take Pepe as a potential end of an era card. I would be very surprised if he didn't. Two more packs to go. No raw breaker, no board. German striker, that is Volland. Unfortunately, doesn't help us with the letters. Okay, have we got a French and Argentinian in this pack? No, we haven't again. Unbelievable. No previous clubs again. No Barcelona players or anything. We have got Soloff for another S for Messi. We haven't got an E or an I though, have we? No, we have got the Y though for Ribéry in Yilmaz. Um, we haven't got an I. We've got another R in Rakic. So we literally need an I and an E for both players, which is very, very unlikely to get by the looks of it. Um, yeah, no French Argentina, obviously no former clubs and no rule breaker. So this last pack needs to be big. Otherwise, we have only got one save, which is pretty poor. It's not a rule breaker. It is a board. It's Spanish again. You hate to see it. Jesus Navas. Oh, we've got Zakaria. Is he still worth coins? He is still worth a little bit of coins. Okay, we'll take that. Looks like he's worth about 9k. Um, we've got Fiorentina again. So that's another former club. Have we got a Barcelona or a... Is that Galatasaray? No, it's Pashiktas. Oh, no. Unbelievable. We've missed it by one. We have missed that by one. That is crazy. We have got, though, a French and an Argentinian in Correa and a Kone in the same pack. So that's another save. No rule breaker, so we don't get that one. Can we spell the names? Do we have an E and an I in here? We've got a Kone and a Duque. We spell Messi. But we don't manage to get to spell Ribery as well. So, yeah, we got... That was going to be tough, that one. But we want to make them a bit tougher. We have got two saves going into the draft. So what we need to do first now is head over to the wheel, get our objectives for the draft build today. And I'll see you there. Right, so here we are with the wheel. We haven't added anything new on today, but obviously I did last week. And let me know down in the comments of this video if you would like to see some things on the wheel. Okay, sensible suggestions only. But you can get the idea from what is on there to put some ideas in for objectives. They can either be things I need to do in the game or things I need to do in the draft. Entirely up to you. Let's get today's five objectives, okay, and see what we've got to achieve in today's episode. First one's going to be... I've got a score from a cross. Oh my. One of the objectives I hate the most in any objectives we have to do uh, for players. I need to get all European in my starting 11. So I can't get Messi. Because I fail that objective. Oh, that's starting 11. Actually, I can take Messi. It'd have to be benched. Yep, so all the European starting 11. Okay, and remember, everybody has to have some chemistry. I can't have any exclamation marks in the team. Need three players over 27. Okay, so that is not including icons. Oh, I had this. Oh, 
No, no custom tactics in the game. Okay. Wow. I mean, at least that's a guaranteed save because I won't be using them, but... Oh, and no heroes or icons. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple of easy saves there, but there is also a couple of hindrances, which means I could end up with some horrible discards uh, if I concede a lot of goals. So let's go and get a six-minute timer ready and get onto the draft screen. Right, okay. So here we are entering the draft. Obviously, I get to pick the formation that I would like to use. Given that it is the one I use in game and also given the fact that I can't use custom tactics, I am going to go for the 4 3 one, two. Okay, so that's going to be it. I'll get to see the captains. As soon as the captains are picked, we then uh, have to go and start the six minute timer. Obviously, I'm looking at this and straight away, I cannot use Henri or Gorincha. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because they're left wing and right wing, so they won't be on chemistry anyway but yep no heroes or icons for this episode if i want to make sure that i get my save and not a discard but i have got ben yedder um he's only no how old is he he's 32 so he counts as one of my over 27s i don't think i'm gonna be worried about that that's that's not i might have to re rejig that one it's quite easy maybe we'll do it over 30s um so yeah i'm gonna take ben yedder as my starting player he's french so he's european I don't know about him scoring from across in game, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's get the six minute timer started in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Who is going to partner Ben Yedder up top? It can't be Robbie King. Oh, wow. Look at that. When you can't have any heroes or icons, you get three heroes pop up. Well, I'm going to have to take Martinez, but he can't play up top either because he's Argentinian. And that would mean I don't have Europeans in the starting 11. Ah, another hero in the cam pick. We'll take the Italian guy, just in case. Right, no one here actually gives any good links at all. We'll take Guendouzi, because he gives Ben Yedder a better link. At the moment, I am not going to be keeping an eye on the over 27s, just while I'm picking the team. Or oh, we'll take this new Lamar, because he does actually look really good. Um, and he also links to... Uh, Chuameni and Gwenduzi and Ben Yedder, so that's good. Left back. Oh, hello, Furland. Lovely. Basically, then we're building a French team as it looks at the minute. Yes, we are, because I've just got Kim Pembe. Oh, I've also got the new rule breaker Lacroix, but do I go for him or one to watch Rudiger? I think I'll go Rudiger. Rudiger looks better. We'll go Rudiger. Right back, we've got... We can't take Klaus. We could take Traore. And goalkeeper. Mm, it's going to be Alex Romero. So we need a new striker to replace Martinez so that we've got European starting 11. We've got Minan in goal now, so that's good. Oh, and we've also got Jules Kunde. Is he better than Kimpembe? Do we take Hernandez? No, because he's not better than Mendy, is he? Let's face it. We'll take Jaws Kunde. Does he get in above Kimpembe? Probably not. Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm wasting time here making a decision. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Just purely based on the physical, he doesn't. Frimpong, Maguire. I mean, we'll take Frimpong just for Danny Aarons. Um, right. CDM, Beneser, Parchi's son, Perisic. These aren't any good. We've got Talisa. We've got Tony Cruz there who would get links with the Real Madrid link. We've got Casemiro who are Brazilian, so we can't take him. Do we take Tony Cruz? I've heard that he's not actually that bad this year. We won't put him in just yet, but we'll see. Striker Modest. Wow, okay. Well, at least that is a full European start in the 11 right there. And we'll take um, Politano. Right, okay, let's just check about the age of 27. So he is 29. 
and tr cruises. Yeah, easy. So we've got the over 27s. We've not got any heroes or icons so far. We've got an all European start in 11. So f no, we haven't because I've got a player from Mali at right back. I need to change that. Who do I take? Our oh, Frimpong. There we go. We'll take put Frimpong in there. And we need. And that's it. We have actually done everything in terms of the draft. Provided I obviously don't go and put custom tactics on, which I won't. Uh, we'll take Anthony for a super sub. I haven't had Ribri or Messi come up. So at the moment, I don't have to discard them, which is nice. So that is the deal I have made. I would like a better striker for Modesto. That would be nice. Doesn't look like we're going to get given it. It certainly doesn't. Last pick then. We've got Mitrovic, but he's not better, I wouldn't say. No, we've not got any striker other than Ben Yedda and Modest, unfortunately. Um, no cam to be able to replace this Tremolada either, so he's going to have to be a sub in game. Um, I'm maybe going to play Tony Cruz there, I think. It gives less chem. Oh, it's because of the right back. There isn't anyone I can play at right back. The fact that you can't position change people yet in a draft is crazy. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go with that as it is. I'm not going to be able to use custom tactics. I've got to try and score from across to avoid that as a discard. And not only that, I've not got any heroes or icons. So I've got a very, very average team. 25 chem. This is tough. We'll stop the timer there because we've got a minute left to go. Um... Yeah, this is tough. Silver lining, no Messi, no um, no uh, uh, special Ribery, so not in the discards for them. Discards as well, actually not looking too terrible. Like, Kunde's still worth quite a bit of coins. I think Rudiger, one to watch, will be worth a lot. Mendy's still worth a lot. Lamar will be worth a decent amount. I imagine Inform Ben Yed is probably a worth amount. So we need to get, like, at least, I would say, six or seven saves, and we're currently sitting on five. So I need to get the goals and I need to avoid a discard by getting the score from across. But yep, we're not we're just gonna go straight into it because there's no I can't put any custom tactics on. We're going straight into the draft. There's nothing else I can do. And what are we coming up against? Let's see. Warriors with an Arsenal badge. And it is a camp boss in goal, Carlos Alberto, Marquinhos. He's got Messi's new card. Harry Cool. Oh, okay. We could be in trouble. Let's go. Oh, and we've conceded. We're 1 0 down. That uh, is one guaranteed discard and obviously potentially two if I don't score from across, which I will tell you is literally all I've been trying to do at the start of this game to try and avoid that discard. But in doing so, we've uh, conceded. I might have to take the discard and just get another save by scoring if I can. But I really want to get all the objectives complete. I'll put it on the head of Modest. Ah. Oh. Right, corners don't count, by the way. Corners don't count from across. Oh! I've crossed it in. He's actually... He's bicycle kicked it in the air and has hit it straight at the keeper. That was so close. Oh, he's just missed the header on that one. We're getting closer. We are getting closer to doing the cross, and then I can just relax a little bit. Oh, again. Just beaten to the cross by the goalkeeper. We're getting closer. Modest actually has been the closest to getting on the end of him. Oh, 
right i apologize i had to do it i had to do it i had to get a save yes i traveled it with ben Yedda, but i had to get another save i have been struggling so far to get these uh, these crosses going so i needed to save now we'll focus on getting the cross down that is possibly the worst corner i've seen um so bad that it's ended the half that's how bad that corner is um what we're going to do is we're going to make some changes at half time so tony cruz is the one getting down the wing um mostly so we're going to change him out for um i think we're going to go for perisic because i feel like maybe his crossing will be a little bit better or maybe politano no we'll go for politano actually um he's still italian i mean it doesn't matter at this point they were just objectives obviously to do in the draft the rest of the team is doing okay i might maybe bring perisic or something on for this tremolada guy at cam but at the moment it's all doing okay rudiger actually i'm gonna sub off for kunde um, because he's not been very good so far but we are still looking for that cross to stop that discard let's get into the second half well now we have a dilemma i've crossed the ball in modest has chested it down and then scored i'm gonna have to go to var for that one i'll keep trying but i think that is a potentially a cross would you say you do you do think it would count So he's chested it down. It's not a volley. Just discussing that potential cross with my brother and have let my guard down and conceded. So we've got another discard anyway, regardless of the cross. 2-2. Two -two. Now I just need to concentrate on winning. The, 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 the general consensus is that it is a cross because that would count in the objectives for a cross. So we're taking it. So now I'm just going to try and concentrate on winning the game. As we're through with Modest. Oh, and he tries to dink it over the keeper, but he's too slow. Yes! Get in there! another save and it stops us from potentially losing the game which would be another discard that is an absolute burst run from right back for jeremy frimpong danny aarons will be proud puts in the top corner unbelievable And if the other one wasn't a cross, that was a cross. 4-2. Chipped it in. Header with Politano. We've got no doubt that the cross is done now. 4-2. Extra saves. We're loving life. We've still got two discards, but hopefully they aren't going to be too painful. So this guy looks like he has stopped playing. Uh, now, I'm not going to go and score goals to get extra saves when someone has stopped playing. I think that would be cheating. So we'll end it there now and uh we'll get into jumbling up the team right so as you'll see on the draft screen there ended 5-2 because i did score a goal the guy did start playing again but i'm not going to count it because for that period of time where he stopped playing i thought the game was over okay so we go as it is i have completed all the objectives i didn't have any heroes or icons i had no custom tactics we had three players over 27 all european starting 11 and i scored from a cross so that's five objectives all complete four goals and one no two objectives completed from the packs so it's 11 saves with two discards okay so it doesn't look like i'm losing anybody of value here today but that isn't always going to be the case okay especially when we do collabs on these series if there's anyone you want to see on the series anyone you think would be interested who's a youtuber 
however big or small please drop them down in the comments and i'll see if i can get them on but we're going to put some of the players in that are going to be expensive i've put kapembe in there although i think he's actually down to about 7k so far um we'll put tony cruz in we'll put mendy in and i'm going to leave like a couple of like um players that may be worth a little bit more so we've got martinez there 86 rated uh we've got um perisic up there what we got five six seven eight nine two more we'll just save jeremy frimpon because of what he did for the team and we'll save anthony because he might be a little bit more expensive than some of the others but this is going to be the rest of the team that's going to be discarded so it is my starting 11 with chua many who's uh, first on the subs there i'm not going to take to twitter they won't know where players are i'm just going to tell them that they need to pick two discards out of the starting 11 and first sub we'll come back when we see what they have chosen well okay so we have a twitter notification and it is one of my fellow fsb creators who was also my first collab on this series like i say if you have any ideas of anyone else that wants to join me on this series drop them down in the comments below and it is Merz Goff and I'll put up a tweet right now he says left center mid and right center mid okay so that is Perisic and Alex Romero okay so I'm going to go and get them put into an SBC and then we'll get that opened now well okay so there you'll go and see in the background I am submitting Perisic and Romero into a 75 plus player pick but I've been talking um in the background and just completely forgotten that's why you're seeing me down in the bottom corner as well on that thing but we've got it sorted now it is done so let's open the 75 plus player pick and see what we've got 75 plus player pick for the cost of perisic and ramiro can we get anything good no two conma ball cards 75 and 76 rated stay away from these player picks they are not worth it in my opinion i hope you've enjoyed today's episode of checklist draft thank you to mers for picking the discards please if you do have any ideas for things to go on the wheel or any people that wanted to partake in this series please do drop a comment down below smash a thumbs up for the video and subscribe turn that notification bell on as well so you're aware of my future uploads thank you ever so much for tuning in up in b rad